Revolution Soccer, formerly Winning Eleven, uh, was started years ago, um, and it's always been built upon one foundation of real soccer gameplay. That's always been the focus. In the last couple of years, we've made a lot of strides with licensed content, as well as with enhancements to the game controls, AI, etc., which you'll see in this build just grew leaps and bounds from last year, both in gameplay and controls and in licenses. Uh, this past year, we, we had a couple big additions. One of the largest is the Copa Libertadores, which is a huge value for Latin America, both in the Central and South America as its top club teams throughout Latin America. And it's just kind of been a nice compliment for people, especially in Latin America, and then even Latin Americans living in the United States, to be able to play as their favorite Champions League teams in Europe, but also in their home countries, where, wherever they may be from. Some of the controls this year, we have our tagline, which is Engineer for Freedom. And when you play the game, you'll notice a lot of those those uh, improvements support that. The controls now, we have a power bar that's in there that you can adjust the controls direction of anywhere you pass the ball. It's no longer tied to a teammate up or back in the field. You can lead a player, you can lead a teammate, pass behind. Um, you have total freedom of where you put the ball. In addition to that, we've made a lot of improvements based on just how you play when you have the ball. So the dribbling's uh, tighter. You can program your feints so that you can actually use them. You know when you score it's because of what you did versus any kind of you know wonky AI. It'll be on the PS2, PS3, um, or uh, end of October. Um, we haven't launched all the dates yet, uh, but then PS2, PSP, and uh, Wii uh, a couple weeks later. And then as far as um, Latin America, it'll be the same SKU lineup, same dates, uh, with the addition of PC.